Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Adopt a Student Foundation Dinner. We're glad you could join us. We got a great night planned. Things are a little different this year, but we're making the most of it. Normally, we greet you with a warm handshake. This year, we're doing it virtually. We'll hear some amazing stories from some of my fellow students. And a special message from Cardinal O'Malley. With your hosts, Keith Motley. With dinner co-chairs, Jay Allen. And Karen O'Toole. We'll have a couple special guests. Including Peter Lynch. We have a special tribute to teachers and staff. Who kept Khadija going during COVID. We have a great show for you. We're so glad that you can make it. Enjoy the show. Thank you. If you're new to Cathedral tonight, like I was nine months ago, I hope you see as much hope, inspiration, generosity, and love as I have. I've never been part of a more powerful mission, and I hope you see this as an opportunity to join our Cathedral family tonight. We show up in person and remotely to make sure our students are safe, have the tools needed to be successful, and know that they are supported during these challenging times. At Cathedral, we go further together. Because everyone is not granted the same opportunities and they're not starting at the same start line, you know, some people start behind. I feel like Cathedral gave me the opportunity to start at the same start line that other people have been starting for for years. Starting in the classroom, it was opportunity to take AP classes, which I've never been exposed to. We had opportunity to learn religion, being in a Catholic school. And with that, we learned about charity, we learned about uh, philanthropy. So Cathedral gave me the tools, right? It's, it's investing in me. They invested in me and the development of, of me. The cathedral, they actually look out for their students before, during, and after the graduation process. To have such a obsessive focus to help its students is what sets it apart from a lot of other high schools. So if it wasn't for the job, I would not be at Denison right now. And I just feel like every every year and every step of the way for me to get to college was half of my effort and half the effort of everybody at the school helping me through it and just giving me support and everything that I needed to, to get to where I am right now. A lot of people go to college and get lost. And, you know, when I was in college, I was a little scared. But then I got the hang of it because, you know, Khadija prepared me for everything. I remember going to Wilmer Hill for my first time, being on the 26th or whatever floor it was. And I looked up and I, I never had a view like that in my life. And it was just an opportunity for me to see what my life would be like and how it could be different. And that was through Khadija. I'm in a work setting, right? And you know, oftentimes the the icebreakers are, what was your first job? My first job doesn't compare to the first jobs of others because my first job was Fidelity Investments. And you know, you say that in the space and they're like, wow. And the first time I was told you could do something was by Miss Lane. Um, and that I could be whatever I wanted. It really changed a lot for me. Um, I did not have the best, you know, most surrounding support group. Um, and I got that I became for the first time in my life. Cathedral cares about the students beyond their school life. They care about the mental and physical well-being of the students and of their family members. It is a safe and entrusted community that better prepares students while still being supportive. The people you meet in Cathedral even become your family. Throughout the many hardships one may go through in life, if it's one thing for sure, it is that Cathedral has your back and they want to see you succeed. Because of your philanthropic generosity, I am able to attend and graduate from this school. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Motley, for inviting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know too well, 
The pandemic has disrupted many aspects of life and has brought pain and suffering to many. At Cathedral, we were faced with the difficult decision of closing down the school last March, which caused a lot of anxiety to the faculty, the staff, and more importantly, our students and their families. However, the senior leaders, Dan and Impera, along with all the members of the faculty and staff, put the students first by quickly adapting to the situation. I really started being aware of COVID when it started coming into my classroom. Not that anybody got sick. You could start to see it in the kids, the, the tone shift. I think I reacted much like everyone else, a little bit of fear, confusion. I was worried about the students. I wanted to make sure that I was still able to check in on them and as well as my colleagues and just making sure everyone was safe and adjusting during this these very like trying times. Our teachers and faculty uh, love the students of Cathedral and as always are willing to do anything to ensure that the students are safe and that they're, they're learning. The school's reaction to the situation of COVID-19 was pretty um, instantaneous. Well, we immediately went into virtual learning so we had a half day on that Friday, the 13th, and then immediately on Monday, students started learning virtually. I did find the springtime to be a tough transition from one week learning in person, you know, to within a week or two weeks teaching online. That was a difficult transition. I've really been inspired by how Cathedral has handled uh, the situation coming into this fall. We have feedback from the student and we have feedback from families and feedback from the staff. So now we can go ahead and think about what didn't work and what worked and we can bring everything together to have a much better school year. So seeing my kids doing online classes, picking up, being there present every day, cameras on, active, volunteering, and that's just it's a positive sign. I think it was hard, but we all really, I think we worked together as far as myself and the staff and our admin, our students. I think everybody really just felt the same way and everybody wanted to kind of come together and make the best out of a really difficult situation. I am truly grateful to work with an entire faculty and staff who have come together like a family during this crisis. Thank you to teachers and staff for sticking by us and making sure we have all the accessibilities that we needed to succeed. Definitely, without the teachers, I do not know what I would have done. They made it easier by answering any questions I had and helping me do the tough time of online school. They helped me by supporting me when we were doing work and we we're all trying to figure out the new technology. Just want to say thank you to not giving for not giving up on us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To all the teachers and staff at Cathedral High School. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for helping me learn. For keeping me inspired. For putting me first. For caring. For caring. You kept Cathedral going. You're, You're the best. best. You're the 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 best. Thank you. When it comes to giving students the experience of a lifetime, Cathedral always has something for that. Cathedral's main focus is community. We don't leave people out. We want everybody to feel part of this family. All of the teachers at Cathedral do everything they can to make everybody feel comfortable and welcome. I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. I am more than aware of the sacrifices and donations that it takes for me to get this education. I will use my education to help better the people around me and the next generation. Thank you. This evening, we appropriately honor Peter Lynch who has provided extraordinary leadership and support for our Catholic schools and particularly for Cathedral High. Peter has dedicated much of his life for so many years with his beloved wife, Carolyn, to his belief that Catholic schools are the best and the most effective means of changing lives for the better. What inspires you about the uh, students at Cathedral? The students I've seen in the last 12 months, the last 12 years, every child, every male, every female, they're full of hope. They're full of excitement. They're positive. They, they know they're going to do well. They're confident. These are bright people, and they're pushed. They know they're pushed. They're asked to do a lot. They respond. They do their homework. They come there on time. They don't miss a day of school. These are exceptional children, 
they make me feel great. When I, when I come home from seeing the kids at Cathedral High School, that's a great day. Great. Thanks, Peter. Thank you, John. Say hello to Dottie. I will. Thank you. On behalf of all of the students, faculty, and families that rely, as you heard, through the stories tonight, on Cathedral for Outstanding Education, year after year after year after year, thank you. You helped to make success possible. Being at Cathedral has granted me experiences that I never thought I would have, and that's all thanks to all of you who support us. Just thank you so much for all you've done for our kids over the years. They are some of the most incredible people I have come to know. Our students are athletes, they're artists, they're poets, they're humanitarians. And so without your support, we wouldn't be able to send them off into the world to accomplish all these incredible things. You're helping build the entire person. It's not just making sure that they're prepared for college educationally, but it's making sure that they're prepared emotionally and spiritually. And that is, that is the cathedral difference. Keeping cathedral going for these 300 plus students is such a noble cause, um, and it's gonna pay, forward, pay itself forward in the, uh, in the future without a doubt. It's very inspiring for me to like see somebody who actually cares about me and cares about my education and cares about my future. So I just, I just wanna say thank you for, for everything that you guys have done. If we can look at a family and say, the one thing we can take care of, the one thing you don't have to worry about is your child's education, we will look back a long time from now and be proud of that. We're able to have that response because of our donors. If you want to donate to a worthy cause where you know you are going to be helping students that truly appreciate it, and in the end, we'll be bringing back to society, to their communities, bigger and greater things, Cathedral would be the way to go. And just thinking about someone that you've never met in your life, someone you may never meet in your life, is paying for your education it's just really strong that shows like they want us to succeed and they want us to do better. These donors are, I think they're amazing people because of these things that they do for us. I really appreciate the fact that they've been doing that to begin with because I know for me and what I want to do, I want to create a foundation to help someone that I don't even know. So the fact that I get to see it from somebody else is doing it for me, I really appreciate it. I really do. I hope to be one of you sitting at the table and giving back to the kids as well. So thank you for everybody who has given to us. We love being able to give back to the students and find new and interesting ways to engage them online and in person. And it really does mean the world to us. Thank you for your unwavering support of the students of Cathedral High School. Thank you for loving Cathedral High School and all that is done there to support our students. We'll be back again next year and hopefully we'll be back in person. Good night.